Kazan, Russian, Kazan IPA, Kazan, Tatar, Kazan is the capital and largest city of the Republic of Tatarstan, Russia. With a population of 1,243,500, it is the sixth most populous city in Russia. Kazan lies at the confluence of the Volga and Kazanka rivers in European Russia, about 715 kilometers (444 miles) east from Moscow. In the late Middle Ages, Kazan was an important trade and political center within the Golden Horde. In 1438, the city became the capital of the Khanate of Kazan. In 1552, Kazan was captured by Ivan the Terrible and became part of Russia. The city was largely destroyed during Pugachev's rebellion, but was later rebuilt during the reign of Catherine the Great. In the following centuries, Kazan grew to become a major industrial, cultural and religious center in Russia. Kazan is renowned for its vibrant mix of Oriental and Russian cultures. In 2015, 2.1 million tourists visited Kazan, and 1.5 million tourists visited the Kazan Kremlin, a World Heritage Site. In April 2009, the Russian Patent Office granted Kazan the right to brand itself as the third capital of Russia. In 2009 it was chosen as the sports capital of Russia, and it still is referred to as such. Topic. Etymology The origin of the name Kazan is uncertain. The most accepted legends derive it from the Bulgar and also modern Tata, word Kazan, which means boiler or cauldron. Most often appeal to the version of the boiling boiler, the sorcerer advised the Bulgars to build a city where, without any fire, a boiler dug into the ground would boil water. As a result, a similar place was found on the shore of Lake Kaban. One legend claims that the city was named after the river Kazanka, which was named after the son of a Bulgar governor who dropped a copper cauldron into it. Other local legends, including research by the Tata scholar Shihabeddin Marjani, claim that the city was named for the resemblance of the hill on which it sits to an upturned cauldron. Kazan, Kazan was a choice name for the male Turkish, Mongol royalty, most notably that of the Ilkhanid Mongol king, Kazan Khan. It is likely that the city was named after a Mongol, Turkish Khan by that name when the city was founded or soon thereafter. Topic. History Topic. Middle Ages According to the official version adopted today, the city was founded more than 1,000 years ago. The estimated date of the urban settlement on the site of Kazan is 1,004 to 1,005 years. The reason for this dating is found during excavations in the Kazan Kremlin Czech coin, dated by the board of St. Wenceslas presumably, coinage 929 to 930 years, and the earliest Czech coin, the remains of masonry and wooden city fence, handicrafts and utensils, Hungarian-type lining, women's beads, etc., as well as other artifacts with less obvious dating. According to official statements, experts from 20 cities of Russia and 22 countries of the world were involved in the study of findings related to the age of Kazan. Kazan was a border post between Volga Bulgaria and two Finnish tribes, the Mari and Udmurt. Another vexatious question is where the citadel was built originally. Archaeological explorations have produced evidence of urban settlement in three parts of the modern city, in the Kremlin, in Bisbalta at the site of the modern Zelantor Monastery, and near the Carbon Lake. The oldest of these seems to be the Kremlin. After the Mongols ravaged the Bulgar and Bilar territories in the 13th century, the surviving Bulgars recovered in numbers and a small number of Kipchaks were assimilated from which they adopted their language, the so-called Bulgarism, or Kipchaks and Bulgars mixed to create a modern Kazan Tatar population. Some Tatars also went to Lithuania, brought by Vytautas the Great. Kazan became the center of the principality, which was dependent on the Golden Horde. In the 13th, 14 centuries, Kazan was growing, becoming an important trade and political center within the Golden Horde. The growth of the city was also promoted by the successful geographical location at the intersection of major trade routes connecting east and west. During the same period, the minting of currency began with the indication of the place of minting. Bulgar al jadid that is, a new Bulgar. In 1438, the Bulgar fortress Kazan, ISKE Kazan was captured by the ousted Golden Horde Khan Yulu Muhammad, who killed the local Prince Swan and moved the fortress to a modern place, according to Russian chronicles. The city became the capital of the Kazan Khanate. The city bazaar, Tasmania Ayaq, Stonefort, has become the most important shopping center in the region, especially for furniture. 
Handicraft production also flourished, as the city gained a reputation for its leather and gold products, as well as the wealth of its palaces and mosques. Kazan had trade relations with Moscow, Crimea, Turkey and other regions. Topic. Russian Tsardom period As a result of the siege of Kazan in 1552, Tsar Ivan the Terrible conquered the city and massacred the majority of the population. During the subsequent governorship of Alexander Gorbatyshuski, most of the Kazan's Tatar residents were forcibly Christianized or deported, the Karashan Tatars. Mosques and palaces were ruined. The surviving Tatar population was moved to a place 50 kilometers 31 miles away from the city and this place was forcibly settled by Russian farmers and soldiers. Tatars in the Russian service were settled in the Tatar Bistay settlement near the city's wall. Later Tatar merchants and handicraft masters also settled there. During this period, Kazan was largely destroyed as a result of several great fires. After one of them in 1579, the icon Our Lady of Kazan was discovered in the city. In the early 17th century, at the beginning of the time of troubles in Russia, the Tsardom of Kazan declared independence under the leadership of Voivoda Nikonor Shulgin with the help of the Russian population, but this independence was suppressed by Kuzma Minin in 1612. Topic. Russian Empire period In 1708, the Tsardom of Kazan was abolished, and Kazan became the seat of Kazan Governorate. After Peter the Great's visit, the city became a center of shipbuilding for the Caspian fleet. The major Russian poet Gavrila Derzavan was born in Kazan in 1743, the son of a poor country squire of Tatar ancestry though himself having a thoroughly Russian identity. Before the building of modern dams, low-lying areas were regularly flooded in April and May. Kazan suffered major fires in 1595, 1672, 1694, 1742, 1749, 1757, 1744, 1815 and 1842. Kazan was largely destroyed in 1774 as a result of the Pugashev Revolt, 1774–1776, an uprising by border troops and peasants led by the Don Cossack Adaman, Captain, Yemily and Pugashev, but the city, formerly largely of timber construction, was soon afterwards rebuilt, using stone and according to a grid pattern plan, during the reign of Catherine the Great. Catherine also decreed that mosques could again be built in Kazan, the first being Marjani Mosque. At the beginning of the 19th century Kazan State University and Printing Press were founded by Alexander I. It became an important center for Oriental studies in Russia. The Quran was first printed in Kazan in 1801. Kazan became an industrial center and peasants migrated there to join its industrial workforce. In 1875, a horse tramway appeared, 1899 saw the installation of a tramway. After the Russian Revolution of 1905, Tatars were allowed to revive Kazan as a Tatar cultural center. The first Tata theater and the first Tata newspaper appeared. Topic. Soviet period In 1917, Kazan became one of the revolution centers. In 1918, Kazan was the capital of the idle Ural state, which was suppressed by the Bolshevist government. In the Kazan operation of August 1918, it was briefly occupied by Czechoslovak legions. In 1920, Kazan became the center of Tata Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. In the 1920s and 1930s, most of the city's mosques and churches were destroyed, as occurred elsewhere in the USSR. After the Treaty of Rapallo 1922 until 1933, the German and the Russian army operated together the Karma Tank School in Kazan. During World War II, many industrial plants and factories to the west were relocated in Kazan, making the city a center of the military industry, producing tanks and planes. After the war Kazan consolidated as an industrial and scientific center. In 1979, the city's population reached 1 million. Topic. Modern period In the late 1980s and in the 1990s, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Kazan again became the center of Tata culture and identity, and separatist tendencies intensified. With the return of capitalism, Kazan became one of the most important centers of the Russian Federation. The city went from 10th to 8th position in population ranking of Russian cities. In the early 2000s, the city earned the right to host both the 2013 Summer Universiade and 2018 FIFA World Cup. 
Topic: <laughs> Millennium of Kazan. Since 2000, the city has been undergoing a total renovation. The historical center, including the Kremlin, has been rebuilt, however a large number of the city's historical districts were completely demolished in the renovation. Kazan celebrated its millennium in 2005, after a city-organized historical commission settled on 1005 as the official year of the city's founding. During the millennium celebrations, one of the largest mosques in Russia, Kolsharif, was dedicated in the Kazan Kremlin. The holiest copy of Our Lady of Kazan was returned to the city, the Millennium Bridge was inaugurated that year, and the Kazan Metro began operation. The government of the Russian Federation released the medal, in commemoration of the 1000th anniversary of Kazan. In 2010, for the preparations to the 2013 Universiade, Kazan began even more renovation by modernizing its airport, fixing the streets, enhancing public transport, and adopting Russian, English, and Tatar languages in all transportation, large stores, and shopping centers. Topic. Heraldry The historical symbol of Kazan is the mythical dragon-like creature Zilant, often mentioned in legends. For example, when numerous snakes and reptiles severely hampered the development of the city, the hunters went in search of the king of snakes and defeated him. According to another version, the residents of the city bought off the giant snake with gold, after which all the snakes left the city. Another legend says that the giant dragon-like serpent always guarded the Khan's treasures, and that it still protects the hidden wealth before the capture of the city in the secret caves. Historically, it is true that snakes were once numerous in the Kazan region, but then their number has decreased dramatically. The first official coat of arms of Kazan was approved on 18 October 1781 and was described as, "...black snake under the crown of gold, Kazan, red wings, white field." In 1926, the country introduced a ban on such heraldry. In the 1980s, the coat of arms of Kazan began to reappear, and in the 1990s Kazan Zilant in various styles began to appear in print media. Modern graphics of the emblem and flag appeared in 2005. In a silver field on the green earth a black dragon with red wings and tongue, with gold paws, claws and eyes, topped with a gold crown. The shield is crowned with a Kazan cap. According to the traditions of heraldry, the dragon symbolizes power, wisdom and invincibility, the earth, life and wealth, the crown development, and the cap above the shield the capital of the city. Topic. Administrative and municipal status Kazan is the capital of the republic. Within the framework of administrative divisions, it is incorporated as the city of republic significance of Kazan, an administrative unit with a status equal to that of the districts. As a municipal division, the city of republic significance of Kazan is incorporated as Kazan Urban Okrig. Topic. City divisions Kazan is divided into seven districts. Topic. Economy Kazan is one of the largest industrial and financial centers of Russia, and a leading city of the Volga economic region in construction and accumulated investment. City's gross regional product had reached 380 billion rubles in 2011. Total banking capital of Kazan banks is third in Russia. The main industries of the city are mechanical engineering, chemical, petrochemical, light, and food industries. An innovative economy is represented by the largest IT park in Russia, which is one of the largest of its kind among Eastern Europe science parks. Kazan ranks 174th highest in Russia in Mercer's Worldwide Quality of Living Survey. Topic. Investments In 2011, city organizations and businesses attracted more than 87 billion rubles for economy and social sphere development. This was 44% more than in 2010. In 2014, businesses attracted 86 billion rubles. Most of them have been implemented in the real economy sector. Because of the unstable economic situation within the country, there was a decrease of investment rates in 2015 and According to the statistics of the first part of the year, it composed 51,684.2 million rubles. There are head offices of six companies that are in the top 500 in terms of revenues in Russia. The total area of city business centers is 330,000 square meters. 
innovative economy in Kazan is represented by the biggest IT park in Russia and also the biggest technical park in Europe. The only online platform for governmental trade except the Moscow One is operated in Kazan. During the post-Soviet period Kazan was the leader in terms of house construction in the Volga region, and now it holds the position and implements the Republican program of liquidation of dilapidated housing which was unique for Russia. According to Forbes, Kazan was ranked 15th among the best cities for business in Russia of 2010. In 2012, Kazan ranked 6th in the Quality of City Environment Rating, which was made by the Russian Federation Ministry of Regional Development, Russian Alliance of Engineers, Federal Construction Agency, Federal Service of Supervision of Consumer Protection and Welfare and Moscow Federal University. Topic: Transportation. Topic: Cycling On 1 July 2013, the Velik bicycle sharing system was launched in Kazan. The system includes seven self-service bicycle docking stations, and a total of 100 bikes, distributed throughout the center of Kazan, near the most popular city destinations. The service is open to everyone from 16 years of age. To access the service, riders have to complete a simple sign-up procedure at www.veli-k.ru, and buy a subscription for a suitable period of time. The first 30 minutes of every journey is free of charge. After the first half hour, a service charge applies. Topic. Public transit Payment is received in cash, by dedicated travel cards and by banking cards. One ride fee is 27 rubles in cash or by banking card and 25 rubles by travel card one. There are various plans for different types of travel which reduce single ride fees. There are no zoning tariffs within the city. Topic. Bus The Kazan bus system was totally renovated in 2007. 91 routes have an aggregate length of 1,981 kilometers (1,231 miles). All 1,444 buses are colored red, as in London. Unlike in most Western cities, public bus routes are not municipal, but are operated by private companies. Half of the buses are imported, produced by Golden Dragon, Haiga, Maz, Yutong, and Hyundai. Other buses are mostly Russian-made Nifars. Topic. Tram The Kazan tram system was founded in 1899. Six routes use 187 kilometers 116.20 miles of tracks and 197 tramcars. All trams are dark red. Rolling stock, LM99, 71 to 608, 71 to 605. Topic. Trolleybus. The Kazan Trolleybus electric bus system was founded in 1948. 355 kilometers (220.59 miles) of lines are used for 14 routes. All trolleybuses are green vehicles. ZIU 682, TROL ZA 5275.05, Optima, VMZ 5298.01 to 50, Avangard. Topic: Metro. A single-line Kazan Metro, running north to southeast, opened on 27 August 2005, the first and only metro system built in a post-Soviet state after the collapse of the USSR. As of 2018, the Kazan Metro now has 10 stations, and crosses the Kazanka River. Topic. Railways Kazan is connected with Moscow, Ulyanovskaya, Yoshka Ola and Yekaterinburg by train. The main railway station Kazan Pasajirskaya is located in the city center and includes a main building, built in 1896, a commuter trains terminal, a ticket office building and some other technical buildings. The station serves 36 intercity trains and more than 8 million passengers per annum. The second terminus called Kazan 2 is situated in the northern part of the city. Kazan also has 19 platforms for commuter trains. Topic: Waterways. 
This station serves intercity ships and commuter boats. Pneumocushion boats are used in winter. Daily passenger turnover reaches 6,000. Highways There are federal highway connections to Moscow and Ufa E22, Orenburg R239, Ulyanovsk R241 and IGRA R242. There are also the R175 federal highway and Northern Europe, Western China. In construction, route near the city. There are five bridges across the Kazanka Kazansu river in the city and one bridge connecting Kazan with the opposite bank of the Volga. Topic. Intercity buses There are two bus stations in Kazan — central and southern. Bus routes connect Kazan with all districts of Tatarstan, Samara, Ufa, Tolyuti, Orenburg, Ulyanovske, Cheboksary, Stolotarmak, Bazulik, Baki, and Aktobi. It is planned to build new stations in the east, west and north districts instead of central for relieving city center. Topic. Kazan International Airport Kazan International Airport is located 26 kilometers 16 miles from the city center. It is a hub for UVT Aero and Kazan Air Enterprise and hosts 11 air companies. The airport is connected with the city by bus route number 97 and by a suburban train line. There is also the Kazan Borisoglevskoy Airfield, home to Kazan Aircraft Production Association, a major aircraft factory, famous in the past as Aircraft Plant 22. 22nd Zavod. Adjacent to it lies a huge aircraft engines plant, 16th Zavod. It produces versions of Tupolev 204 and 214 aircraft. In the past, an ILYUSHIN 62, four engine Russian mainliner, Tupolev 160, Blackjack. Supersonic strategic bomber and 222M tactic bomber were also produced here. Both these plants and adjacent workers' housing make a whole city district known as Aviastroitelny Aircraft Builders. Topic: Demographics. Topic: Population. Population, 1,143,535, 2010 census, 1,105,289, 2002 census, 1,094,378, 1989 census, Kazan Metropolitan Area's population is 1.65 million. Topic. Ethnicity The city's population consists mostly of ethnic Tatars .6 and ethnic Russians .6 The other ethnicities are Chubash, Ukrainians, Azerbaijanis, Vietnamese, and Jews. Topic. Religion Predominant faiths of Kazan City are Sunni Islam and Orthodox Christianity, with Roman Catholicism, Protestantism, Judaism and the Baha'i faith also represented. Topic. Languages The Tatar language is widely spoken in the city mainly by Tatars. Russian language is also widely spoken, mainly by Russians. Topic. Geography Topic. Climate Kazan has a humid continental climate Koppen, DFB, with long, cold winters, colder than Moscow, and warm, often dry summers. As a result of its far inland position, summers are extremely warm for its latitude and winters are quite cold compared to areas further west in Europe. The warmest month is July with daily mean temperature near 20.2 degrees Celsius, 68.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and the coldest month is January with a daily mean of minus 10.4 degrees Celsius, 13.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The city set its two hottest days on record during the 2010 Northern Hemisphere summer heat waves. Temperatures reached plus 39 degrees Celsius 102 degrees Fahrenheit in the hottest days during that time. Topic. 
Topic: Central Kazan. Topic: Kremlin. The city has a citadel, Russian, Kreml Tr, Kreml, or sometimes Tata, Kerman, which was declared a World Heritage Site in 2000. Major monuments in the Kremlin are the five domed, six columned Annunciation Cathedral, 1561 and the mysterious, formerly leaning Soyambika Tower, named after the last Queen of Kazan and regarded as the city's most conspicuous landmark. Also of interest are the towers and walls, erected in the 16th and 17th centuries but later reconstructed. The Qol Sarif Mosque, which has been rebuilt inside the citadel, remains of the Saviour Monastery, a 16th century cathedral demolished by the Bolsheviks with the Spaskaya Tower, and the Governor's House, 1843-53, designed by Konstantin Thon, now the palace of the President of Tatarstan. Next door, the ornate Baroque Sts. Peter and Paul's Cathedral on Qawi Nakmi Street and Markani Mosque on Qayyum Naziri Street date back to the 18th century. Topic. Towers The Spaskaya Tower was built in two floors by 16th century Pskov architects Ivan Shoyai and Postnik Yakovlev. From the inside, the northern side of the fortress to the Spaskaya Tower adjoined the gate to Spaskaya Church, which has now merged with the tower. The typical Scovian architectural elements of the façade face the main street of the Kremlin. At the end of the 17th century, instead of three tiers, the tower was built with two brick eight-sided tiers with a brick roof, getting its present, familiar appearance. Until 1917, the tower was crowned with the double-headed coat of arms of the Russian state. In the 18th century, a ringing clock was installed in the upper tier, and even earlier a large bell was moved from a small belfry now lost, located on the castle wall on the left side of the tower. Until the middle of the 19th century, there was a moat with a stone bridge in front of the tower. The southwestern tower was built simultaneously with the Spaskaya Tower by Pskov Masters and is a classic example of the Pskov style of defensive structures. The name of the Transfiguration Tower comes from the Transfiguration Monastery of the Saviour, which was fenced from the northwest. The tower was also built by Pskov architects Postnik and Barma, but it was significantly rebuilt later, as it has strong traces of the architectural influence of the Moscow defensive architecture. The territory from the Transfiguration Tower to the Spaskaya Pass was added to the Old Khan's Fortress by Pskov masters. There are unnamed round brick towers, presumably built by Moscow architects in the 17th century. The Tainitskaya Tower was built in its present form in the 1550s by Postnik Yakovlev. It was named after a secret source from which it was possible to take water during a siege. The entrance to the tower is in the form of a knee, which increased the defense of the Kremlin. It replaced the tower from the time of the Khanate Nur Ali, in Russian transcription Muraliva. The 22-year-old Tsar Ivan the Terrible entered the conquered city through the Nur Ali Tower. The northeastern round tower was demolished after the Pugachev's assault. The Consister Tower was built in brick by Moscow architects in the 17th century. Its name was given in the 18th century from the spiritual consistory located near the tower in the Kremlin. Near the tower, archaeological excavations revealed the so-called Tezitsky, Arabic for merchant, moat, which went from the Consister Tower to the Transfiguration. Archaeologist N. Kalanen and a number of scientists believed that the moat was the southern border of the Khan's fortress. The southeast round tower is an example of Pskov architecture of the 16th century. <laughs> Bista, or Pasad Central Kazan is divided into two districts by the Balak Canal and Lake Carbon. The first district, Kazan Bistays or Kazansky Pasad, historically Russian, is situated on the hill, the second, Isk Tata Bistays or Staro Tatarskaya Sloboda, historically Tata, is situated between the Balak and the Volga. Mosques, such as Narola, Soltan, Borne, Apane, Asim, Markani, Isk Tasmania, Zangara in the Tata district. Churches, such as Blagovashinskaya, Varvaraskaya, Nikolskaya, Tikvizkaya, are mostly in the Russian part of the city. The main city center streets are Bauman, Kremlyovskaya, Jajinsky, Tuki, Puskin, Butlerov, Gorky, Karl Marx and Markani. An old legend says that in 1552, before the Russian invasion, wealthy Tatars Bela hid gold and silver in Lake Carbon. Topic. Wooden Kazan 
In the beginning of the 1900s most of central Kazan was covered by wooden buildings, usually consisting of two floors. There was a historical environment of Kazan citizens, but not the best place to live in. During the Republican program, the liquidation of ramshackle apartments, most of them, unlike other Russian cities, especially in central Kazan, where the land is not cheap, were destroyed and their population was moved to new areas at the suburb of the city Azino, Azino 2, Quartal 39. Nearly 100,000 citizens resettled by this program. Other major buildings Another significant building in central Kazan is the former Smolensif and Shmolev tea house and hotel, now the Shalyapin Palace Hotel. It is located at 780th Universitetskaya Street, at the corner of Universitetskaya and Bauman. A major landmark of late 19th and early 20th century commercial architecture, it consists of two portions. The original portion, built for a merchant named Usmanov in the 1860s, was bought by the inter-related families of Efim Smolensov and Pavel and Nikolai Shmolev in 1899. They operated a store selling, among other things, tea. In 1910, the Smolentevs and Shmolevs constructed another portion, designed by architect Vasily Trifonov, and operated a hotel there. After the Russian Revolution, the building eventually became the Hotel Soviet and after 2000 it was heavily renovated to reopen as the Shalyapin Palace Hotel. Cityscape Education and science Topic: Primary and secondary education. Primary and secondary education system of Kazan includes 282 nurseries, most of which are municipal. 178 schools, two of which are private. 28 vocational technical schools. 15 colleges. 10 special colleges. There are also 49 music schools, 43 sports school, and 10 fine arts schools, including the Kazan Art School, founded in 1895. Topic: <laughs> Higher Education. There are 44 institutes of higher education in Kazan, including 19 branches of universities from other cities. More than 140,000 students are educated in the city. Kazan Federal University, founded in 1804, is third oldest university in Russia after St. Petersburg State University, 1724, and Moscow State University, 1755. In 2009 KFU got federal status as main university of Volga region. Some other prominent universities are Kazan State Technical University, founded in 1932. In 2009 it got status of national university. Kazan State Medical University, founded in 1814 as a department within Kazan State University. Kazan State Technological University, founded in 1919 on the base of pre-existing vocational school. Kazan State Conservatory, founded in 1945. Volga Region State Academy of Physical Culture, Sport and Tourism, founded in July 2010 in the framework of the 27th World Summer Universiade Legacy. A branch located in Nabarezhny Chelny, will proceed functioning. Topic. Science Kazan is a major scientific center in Russia. Kazan formed a big number of scientific areas and schools mathematical, chemical, medical, linguistic, geological, geobotanical, etc. Scientific discoveries are a subject of special pride, including, the creation of non-Euclidean geometry Nikolai Lobachevsky, the discovery of the chemical element ruthenium Karl Ernst Klaus, the theory about the structure of organic compounds Alexander Butlerov, the discovery of the electron paramagnetic resonance Yevgeny Zavisky, and acoustic paramagnetic resonance Altshula, and many others. The city hosts Kazan Science Center of Russian Academy of Sciences, since 1945. It includes five academic institutions. Tatarstan Academy of Sciences, since 1991. It includes seven local departments with 13 academic institutions also, 21 organizations are under the guidance of Tasmania, and one branch in Ulyanovsk. Public health. 
1814 year is considered to be an official year of the beginning of scientific medicine in Kazan. Exactly at that time University Hospital was open. In 1930 Faculty of Medicine is separated from the Kazan Federal University and holds a lot of specialized hospitals under its patronage. Nowadays Kazan becomes the largest public health center in Russia. 120 medical organizations are operated in the city. Kazan Interregional Clinical Diagnostic Center is the largest in Volga region in cardiovascular and neurological diseases. The largest hospital in Kazan is Republican Clinical Hospital. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government and Administration. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Topic. City Duma Kazan City Duma is a representative body of the city, elected every four years and holds its sessions in Kazan City Hall. Topic. Executive Committee Executive Committee is a municipal body of the executive organs. The committee's head is Dennis Kalinkin. Topic. Government of the Republic of Tatarstan Kazan hosts Tatarstan President's Residence and Administration in Kremlin, Tatarstan's Cabinet of Ministers and Council of State on Freedom Square. Topic. Communication Agency works 84 post offices belonging to the branch of Russian Post. UFPS. Tatarstan Poktasi. The official opening of the Kazan City Telephone Network took place on 27 15 November 1888. At the moment, there are four operators of wired telephone in Kazan. The total capacity of the telephone network in Kazan is about 456,000 numbers. Services of IP telephony operators in addition to the basic wired connection is also supported by the five companies. The city has six mobile operators Beeline, Megafon, MTS, Tele2 Russia, Letai, Yota, and also operates virtual mobile operator Mobile Public Communication By the number of Internet users—428,000 people—Kazan takes the fourth place in Russia. According to the General Director of Google Russia Vladimir Dolgov, Kazan is the largest center of information technology development, the level of Internet penetration is 75%, which is a record figure for Russia. Access to the World Wide Web in Kazan is provided by 15 operators. The most popular forms of Internet access are cable networks and ADSL. Previously popular dial-up has almost lost its position, at the same time actively developing wireless technology Wi-Fi and WiMAX. Skartel launched the first LTE network in Russia on the 30th of August 2012 in Kazan. It Park was held a launch ceremony for the fourth generation network 4G LTE. LTE network in Kazan was launched by three operators, Skartel LLC, Yoda Trademark, Megafon OJSC and MTS OJSC. On 27 June 2014, the LTE network of mobile operator Fly was launched. Topic. Sports Kazan now is one of the most developed cities in Russia in terms of sport. The city has hosted two Bandy World Championships, in 2005 and 2011, the World Summer Universiade 2013, the World Championship in Fencing in 2014, the Aquatics Championship FINA 2015, 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup and other international competitions of various levels. In the future the city will hold the 2018 FIFA World Cup. The city of Kazan is a leader in terms of winnings in various sports including its most popular sports teams. Men's teams. Topic: Notable athletes. Alia Mustafina, athletics champion. Alexander Bermistrov, hockey player. Viktor Kolotov, association football player. Ruslan Nigmatullin, association football player. Denis Arkhipov, hockey player. Svetlana Demina, sport shooter. Mara Safin, tennis player Dinara Safina, tennis player Alexander Fadiev, figure skater Vasily Mosin, sports shooter 
Topic: Infrastructure. Kazan Arena, stadium with capacity 45,000, home ground for FC Rubin. Central Stadium, Olympic Stadium, capacity 30,133. Ex home ground for FC Rubin. Tat Neft Arena, indoor sporting arena, capacity 10,000. Home to HSCAQ bars. Basket Hall, indoor sporting arena, capacity 7,000, large hall, and 1,500, small hall. Home to BCUNICS. Kazan Volleyball Center, capacity 4,600. Home to VC Zenit and WVC Dynamo Kazan. Raketa and Trudavi Rezavi Ice Stadiums. Topic: Important events. 2019 Candidates Tournament for the Women's World Chess Championship 2019 2019 World Skills Championship 2018 FIFA World Cup 2017 and 2018 Red Bull Air Race World Championship Kazan is the host city for the 2013 Summer Universiade, 2015 World Aquatics Championships, 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup and 2018 FIFA World Cup. 2016 28th International Olympiad in Informatics 2016 European Judo Championships 2014 European Badminton Championships 2011 European Weightlifting Championships 2005 and 2011 Bandy World Championship 2010 Finswimming European Championship Topic: International Relations Kazan is actively engaged in international activities. The city has foreign diplomatic, trade and cultural representations. The Kazan Kremlin and the Institute of Culture of Peace are under the auspices of UNESCO. The city participates in partner movements, is a member of the World Organizations of Cities. The Summit of the CIS Heads, the Summit of the World Security Services and other important forums, conferences and events of the world level were held in Kazan. The head of China, the as Secretary of State, about three dozen presidents and prime ministers of foreign states paid visits to the capital of the republic, as to few other cities of the country. Renovated in 2005, the international airport provides flights to dozens of cities in different countries, including the largest airliners class Boeing 747, and is gradually being rebuilt into a potential hub for the Universiade 2013 and the World Cup 2018. International rail links from the city. Topic. Branch offices of embassies Branch office of the Embassy of Belarus Topic. Consulates Four consulates general are found in Kazan Topic. Visa centers Italian Visa Center in Kazan Joint Visa Application Center of European Union for Bulgaria Czech Republic Denmark Finland Greece Iceland Malta Netherlands Spain Topic. Twin towns and sister cities Kazan is twinned with Kazan has also partner relations with the following cities and regions. Topic: International Organizations Membership. Topic: Other Organizations. Topic: Notable People. Rashid Nezmetdinov, international master and five-time winner of the Russian Chess Championship Diana Kirilova, singer who represented Russia at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest in 2013 Soya Gulyak, pianist, only female winner of the Leeds Piano Competition, in 2009 Venera Gimadieva, operatic soprano who has performed leading roles in major European opera houses See also Kizicheski Monastery Russian Islamic University Saints Peter and Paul Cathedral Kazan <laughs>